Can you feel it? The sound of my bass. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on the banjo circuit today. Well, first of all, I think which uh, one artist I just introduced, I just part of It's mainly because they are they are going into the same route. You know, Shansa is a Jamaican artist. So I think Shansa that original language is part of Even though some of them might be saying it wrong, but we it wrong, Godiji. No format is and then we well, a Shona to captivate the Shona, or I should say the Zimbabwean audience at large, so people can actually understand Jaruimba. Uh, because I've seen, for example, with artists from Wimba, Pat it's only a few that end up making it far. For example, Major E is one of the, the best at doing so. So I think. Um, for some artists, they find it vital to use patwa as showing that they are versatile. So we don't want to show some patwa and show them together. Well, there's obviously an identity crisis when it comes to um, Zimbabwean music because you'd find that Sungura guy music in Zimbabwe, chayo chayo, and then the um, dance ways. It's something that we have adopted and also made it our own by putting a spin on it. Tauzo Itiji, Zim Danso, Zim Reggae, uh, Urban Grooves is basically R&B in hip hop. Chayo Chayo Batiji, with our own taste or feel to it. <clears throat> that, that's a hard one to answer because an artist does not depend. Kone ya toti ma recording artist. Why I don't go shine in studio. When I mean by shining in studio, the Udiji, when they record a song, in a Buddha in studio, can also live live major somebody bo. So we call them recording artists. And then there's also performers, and then there's also musicians. Musicians would fall, um, basically, in my knowledge, would fall uh, in that category in Anatuku because they have the their voice, and they can also play an instrument. So, you know, Tuku, Tungai Moyo, um, the likes of Magdi, Magdi, I know him both footy, but he's a producer, Chiro Futi Makis, uh, people like Laziti, Laziti can also play instruments and he can also sing. So, those are musicians, you know what I mean? So, it all depends. To be an artist, you have to be someone who's uh, marketable, someone who can uh, perform, and someone who can record something that, at the end of the day, when you listen to it, it's a good song. So that's what I think an artist is. Wow, yeah, that's, that's deep. Because to be marketable, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of factors that are involved. <clears throat> because, for example, can I get marketable? So, for example, as it is right now, Sandra and Devil is very marketable. I'm not going to go. You hate to touch on that. I'm not going to go <laughs> deep into that and explain. But as you can see, looking at her photos without the music, she's very marketable. Monagata Sastana, Stana is marketable. And it, Ja Signal, he's marketable because of the look. Sakatika tanga pa look, and then tozo endo pa pa character moon. Kana uti hulu moon, you know. So people like uh, Winky D, Winky D is marketable not just because of the way he dresses or anything. Is because you never hear some scandals about Winky D. You never see him. Bun are very scarce. A bad guy should man. I was going to get. I was going to get to that part. So there's also the voice. <clears throat> voice of the wrote to me and Is that person marketable or not? And it is. So there's that aspect as well. And then now the content. Um, I feel as if. Industry, our Zimbabwean music industry, has lost its way in a sense because there was a point of time where I think around 1999 and then 2000, the music was actually good. You could listen to a song, my songs are baba, nana mama, and the youth, and even the upcoming generations to come, they can actually still listen to the, that music just because of the message. 
And, it, and then from Norway, Zim Danso came with this thing. You could see if I know a message. But I'm going by a tune of bubblegum music. You could see, it's a purple for those few months. And then after that, that music disappears. And like social media has also contributed to that. Because there's a, there's a thing where, uh, for example, right now, Jini Bagashaik. And then something else is going to happen. For example, just now, Diego Maradona passed away. Doing a little piece right now. So after Diego Maradona, something else is going to happen. And those chapis up and where so our 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 concentration span is now limited to a to a certain way. Even artists, they're not putting any effort to make music that's gonna last for a decade or more. No, no, no. I'm not saying they're not moving with time. But where I'm saying there's an issue is the content. Uh, so, is that a song that I'm going to play today and enjoy it and play it next week and enjoy it and play it in five months to come and enjoy it and play it in four or five years to come and enjoy it? I don't think so personally. I feel like my songs are going My songs are going it's not because you hear a song because you don't like it. I don't listen to my songs. I don't listen to my songs. I hear my songs because uh, one of my friends just said to me, Ah, oh, I'm born to hear a song. You don't want to do it. And I'm like, No. Do do you hear a song? And I play it. I probably play it once or twice, and I I won't play it again. So I I think let let's go back to the issue in Zimbabwe right now. In Yaguti, there is no employment. There is no cash flow. People don't have any source of income. So because there is no source of income, you find producers are now reduced to people. It might be a song which might not be good. It's whatever it is. But what happens is the producer is ready to take your money because he has to feed his family or buy whatever he wants to buy with that money. So you can come and sing And the producer is not going to sit there and say, ah, I think you're wrong. I think this won't sound good. Let's not do this. Let's do it this way. Producer is ready to take your money because you've come and said you want to sing. You've got the money. So why not? Hmm. There's, there's quite a lot of things that are lacking. Um, I could start off with content. Like I said before, the content is not good enough. It's not good enough at all for starters. And... Um, I feel like some producers do not care. Kuti, it's my song that I'm I'm producing. Nishipa artist to go to that go gazero beat line bona ningi. Who cares? Okay. So there's that as well. And I think what's lacking um, in our industry, I think I've said this many times. I said this on uh, Zim Dance uh, Summit. Nikati education. Education is the main thing. That is lacking in our industry. Above all, above muti muna imba content yaka dai muna ni video yaka yaka naka muna ita the right thing yaka isa music yaka pa iTunes iru tendera. They've marketed their music is on social platforms and everything. Above all, is education. Once someone is educated enough, then for me, I think they can actually become an artist because you'd find kuti um, if you're a mechanic. There's this mentality that now you are entrepreneurs, especially in Africa, where you find that iwewe unugori muno asiri kana mechanic, not a mechanic at all, but just because maybe your father is a mechanic, wakuroji zoto to ino zika breta, you filter, you chakati chakati, and you're learning from that. 
So when you become 18 or 25, whatever it is, if you love doing that, you can easily go and uh, open up a business and say you could uh, banjo mechanics. You are going to banjo mechanics. Apa unaga na degree, unaga na anything. Check what mechanic. Wa auto wa mechanic. Anyway, anyway, you see, we are talking about music and we are talking about entertainment. Let me cut you now. Don't wait at a short break. We should entertain one of your songs. <laughs> then to do that, she continue talking about marketing. Saka so hit us with your song. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Um, hey, I wasn't really ready to perform or do anything, but um, I think I'll give you a song in on the time shout out.